yo, 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 I'm gonna wait for people to jump on, you know, the drill, see how this, um, new holder goes on my phone, it's been really, really cool, drop it a live stream, throw some comments down below, if you're watching the recording, absolutely comment, um, just so I know that you actually take in anything that I might or might not have to say, hello, Joshy, I'm good, man, I'm good. Anyone else who jumps on, say hi. Anybody else? I don't want to say hi. It's the point of his life. But actually, it's a cool title today. I just had something I wanted to chat about. Are you connecting your car? Oh, uh, really? I'll fix it. One sec. I'll fix that. There we go. Watch me cop criticism for that move. Brucey, how are you? Everyone who jumps on, say hi. Everybody. Gav, how are you, man? Hey, what are you doing, Gav? <laughs> Gav, come to the RSL at 7 o'clock, man. I'm on my way there now. 7 o'clock, RSL. I'll surprise you when you get there. And I'll buy you a beer or three. Teresa, how are you? Awesome to meet you the other night. Yeah, it should be a lot better. Joshy, I um, got rid of the... What's your name? Oh, Mr. Leo Shea is on! Oh, from Dubai! I tell you what, guys. What if? What if is the title? Marita, how are you? Brucey, hello, Emily. Kyle, Mr. Honesty, I love it, man. Alright, what if? What if you guys did not wake up today? Seriously, you would not have copped an introduction to Mr. Leo Shea all the way in Dubai. I have to do that, man. Check out Mr. Leo Shea, please, peach. He's rocking the crypto world, but he's rocking out of comfort zone. He's rocking comedy. He's rocking true, authentic self to the max. I had to throw that. I had to throw it out there, Lee, man. I fucking love your work, dude. Yeah, in town, man. RSL on the Esplanade. In town. I'll explain when you get there. Everyone else is jumping on. Now, what if? Seriously, what if? Too many fucking people in life say, what if, after the fact? Oh, what if if I... What if I had done this? Or what if I had done that? Uh, but the what ifs are so fucking built up that it becomes their habit. What if, what if, what if? It's fucking annoying. Seriously. I'll throw that out there. Nah, Lee, man, I've got to throw that out there. Emily, how are you? Awesome that you're on. But serious. Watching um, a very, very smart individual last night. Very, very smart. And I say, coming from a place like he's from Cyprus and... He's making a shitload of cash traveling the world. He's got something I want. And he made a great point. And I'm not going to go into detail about it because there's some guys on here that are coming tonight that are going to see this man in action. Now, Stavros is his name. I don't know his last name. I don't care. Because he taught me a few things last night in a short amount of time. So many people will say, well, what if this goes wrong? What if the fucking moon falls out of the sky tonight and the sun doesn't come up? What if I end back invested a life like my mates did eight months? Perfect. There you go. Lee Lynch. Check that. Check that. Chantel, how are you? I'm being distracted by you guys because I'm not doing a lot of live feeds lately. Because seriously, I've been focused so much on, on building a couple of businesses, talking to people, working with people behind the scenes. Because I, I wake up in the morning like, what if I didn't help this person out? What if they, what if they miss out on something today? What if I miss out on something today? Sandy, how are you? There's your high. Everyone's copying highs here. I want to get into flow, guys. I've got a short drive into town. There's so many what-ifs that hold people back. So many. What if everything goes wrong? Bullshit scarcity. Scared of fucking shit that's not real. Scared of shit that they haven't done. Scared of the future. This anxiety of what hasn't happened, it's not fucking real. What say what if, what if, what if this goes wrong? i tell you what. Turn them what-ifs into. Okay, someone's doing this. What were, they, what were their what-ifs? Someone like I, I mentioned last night, very successful person. I'm going in to be trained by him now. Very, very successful. Multiple, multiple seven-figure income earner in a shorter space of time. Amazing. But the knowledge he's got for the what if. He turns it round. All right. What if I didn't make that decision to take this opportunity up? What if... And this is coming from the fact he's got a result. Thank you, Santel. I can't read the whole message. He's coming from having the results. 
here's the thing, difference between a lot of people. They don't have the result, they'll throw what if, what if will go wrong, what if will go wrong, what if the problem blows up, all this sort of shit. He's got the result. He goes, all right, I'll talk about my what ifs. What if I didn't make that decision to do something I've never done to get something I never had back then? Well, I wouldn't have 100,000 US dollar a month residual income. I wouldn't have gone on over 300 holidays around the world where I now travel for free. I wouldn't have this amazing circle of fun, amazing people who are traveling the world having fun with their families and everything. I wouldn't have that. So what if I didn't do that? I wouldn't have this amazing life. What do you think is more powerful? When you hear someone say, hey, here's your opportunity, and they come up with, well, what if this is a scam? Oh, shit. What if it's a fucking scam? And I'll throw the F-bomb in there because you know how many people say that. Because it's new, because it's different, because well, someone's so happy and saying, hey, here's an opportunity. What if it's a scam? I tell you what, if it's a scam, good luck to the people who get involved. But when someone's coming from a place of having the result, seriously, someone having the result, and they say, what if they didn't do it? Would you listen to that person? No, I will. <laughs> I know I will. Now, I've been guilty of this a lot in life. I've been guilty of it a lot. And that's why I can talk about it. What if I did this? What if I did this? Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Woulda been better. Yeah. So many people do it. Go listen to people who got the result part. Listen to their what if they hadn't have done that. If they hadn't have done that. They can't think of it. They can tell you all the good they've got that they wouldn't have. Not what if all this shit goes wrong because it's a scam, because you just set me up, because you just want to make money off me. All that. All them things that you don't know. What you don't know, you don't know. What you do know is someone who's got the result, who's got the money in the bank, who's got the, the kilometres and miles of travel, whatever it is, he's got all that stuff. And yes, life is what you make of it. To me, I'll listen to that person. All these people say, what if this goes wrong? What if that problem arises? What if the star collides with this moon over here? And all this sort of shit. I'm not frustrated. I'm just telling you what I hear from people, guys. Seriously, it's not you guys on here because you need to rap. But so many people stop themselves in life. So many people stop themselves in life from the what ifs. Then they get to shooters and couldas. What happens in the middle? They exist. Should have done this, could have done that. I was a champion of this. I was great. I was going to do this. Lee Lynch put a good comment in there before. Oh, I should have invested in one coin eight months ago. Well, I fucking did. No shooters or couldas here. If it falls over, it falls over. I don't care. Because I listen to the people who have got the result. What if the person said, yes, thank you, Joshua. I love your mindset. If you're a young guy, man, you switched on. All these successful people in the world, and I'll use money as a reference. What if? What if Donald Trump didn't get in? Holy shit, there's some randomness for you. Serious. People who take risks in this life are the successful ones. People who show people the what is after the fact they got the results, they're the ones we look up to. They're the ones we want to strive to be. Absolutely, Sandy. Money needs, means nothing. But if you want to do something in this world like I do, if you want to make a massive impact, I need money to do it. What are people lacking in this life? Wealth and time, freedom and happiness. What do we have to do in life? A lot of us work all our life to work towards that, to save money, to be in like modern day friggin' imprisonment. And then we get to the point when we don't have enough money, we don't have the time, freedom, so we don't have that internal happiness. It's not for everyone. I'm happy in the rainforest. Trust me, if I had my way, we'd be bartering fucking animals and fish and shit. But it's not the world, guys. Back to my point. What if, shoulda, coulda. No, that's awesome, Sandy. That's awesome. A lot of people are happy without money, but from my point of this, from the point of that crazy word opportunity, let's throw that word in the middle. I might get a bit um, cryptic here, but that's cool. A what if... And then in the middle, you exist. Change that to opportunity in the middle. People are scared of that word. So what do they do? They exist. Swap that word exists for opportunity. Then you don't have the shoulders, couldas, wouldas. It is, man. Leo, say hit the nail. Read the comments here, guys. There's some great people on here that have taken some massive risks. Perceived risks, guys. I think they should change that word risk for... for I don't know the answer, so I don't want to do it. How about that? I don't know the answer, 
so I don't want to do it. I'll listen to someone who hasn't had the result because they said it's bad because of the other person that said it's bad. There's your definition of risk. I'm going to pull over down here. I love this shit. I'm getting messages flat out here. Like I say, I do cop some heat for doing um, live streams on the go, but why not? I'm going to get through your messages too. Throw some stuff at me, guys. Opportunity comes in many forms. It doesn't have to be a business opportunity. It could be an opportunity to approach a person that you've never done before. It could be that, that girl you've always liked or that guy you've always liked. The opportunity's there, but the risk is you might get your feelings hurt. Oh, shit, no. Like I say, I've been through a lot of this myself, guys. That's why I'm so passionate about it. What do we got here? Mason Coden is on. What if it works? Thank you, Mr. C. I'll be seeing you soon, dude. What if it actually works? What if this person who has the result is not telling a lie, is living the life? Oh, wow, this could be amazing. I'll go back to it. These people who have got money in the bank, who are living the life, who have time and freedom, guys. You, you cannot put money value on time freedom. You can't. We want happiness in life. Seriously, I talk to so many people lately and they say, I'm happy in my job. I was talking to a good mate this morning and it was gold. It was gold. I haven't spoken to him in about 12 months. Uh, he does what I used to do. I used to work with him. And um, he's on the excavator. And I was like, yeah, yeah. He goes, life's great. Life's awesome. I'm loving my job. I'm like, the family's happy. I'm building a house. I said, I tell you what, man, that's cool. I used to love all that stuff too. But if you had to work for free, would you do it? Doing that? He's like, no. I'm like, well, what would you rather be doing? This is initial. What if I could show you something you could help, allow you to do that straight away? Oh, but what if um, what if I need money for this? What if I um, oh well, what if I can't get work again? The what ifs came out, and I laugh because we're good mates. It's cool. It's okay. But hearing that from me and then explaining it to him why I didn't want to, I showed him the opportunity. That's cool. I didn't want him to sign up because he said he's happy doing what he's doing, but he knows about it. But he threw the what ifs at me, and when I told him about this, he goes, "Holy shit." You guys are going to watch what you're doing. Most people will do this too, guys. Most people will watch what you're doing when you say things for a while. It's happening to me now. A lot of people in my team now, a lot of people that come on board, have been watching me for 15 or 16 months, all the way along. They say, no, it's not. It's a scam. What if, what if, what if, what if? Now, a lot of them are saying, well, I should have got in 12 months ago. I should have done here. And I've made some mistakes along the way too, but I'm still rocking. Do you get my point here, guys? I've got to get going soon. What if? What else have we got here? Where's the next retreat? Um, you'll have to check out the beast mode, guys. Uh, Mr. Lee Lynch will be able to answer that. I'm not actually involved with beast mode anymore, Sandy. If you didn't know, like I say, amazing journey last year. Mr. Lee Lynch is on here. Mr. Nathan C is on here. Um, Anna, how are you? We all make mistakes, but there, that's perfect. I want to make mistakes. That's, that's a cool one. Everyone on here should want to make mistakes. More lessons learned. The more lessons you learn, the more of a life you live, the more you're not. The more you succeed then. The more fulfillment you get out of passing it on to other people. I've gone off track here, but I'm going by the comments, guys. So here's the thing. If an opportunity comes your way, it doesn't have to be about money. It doesn't have to be about network marketing or cryptocurrency or whatever it is, health and wealth. It doesn't have to be that. Any opportunity to improve your life. If you haven't got something, how do you know that that opportunity isn't going to improve your life if you haven't got it? How are you going to know? You can use the other person's results. Seriously. And this all goes back to environment. If you've got people you trust in your environment, they, they give you advice and say, I've got this result, do you want it? And you say, oh, no, nah, but this might go wrong, this might go wrong. Does that sound freaking stupid? It does. So any opportunity, I'll go back to it. If you've got a, a girl you want to approach, a guy you want to approach, just do it. It's out of comfort zone, guys, because we haven't done it. We're afraid of getting hurt. We're afraid of getting burnt. What's more? What's more? What, what gives more fear? Seriously. The fact that you keep passing up on opportunities because there's too much risk. You keep holding back and not moving forward because there's too much risk. Or it could be a scam. It could be this. What if it's this? What if it doesn't work? What if I lose my money? What if I get burnt? What if this person judges me? What if this person tells this person? What if this person t tells a lie about me? That's most people. Look back when you're 60, seriously, and go, oh, shit, the last 25 years or 35 years, 
I went around in circles. I should have listened to that guy who's living on an island who's hanging out with all them people that were on that live stream. Oh, no, I should have, but, oh, well, I've had a great life. Fucking bullshit. I call that. Dino, how are you, man? Awesome that you're on. A lot of people procrastinate and do nothing about it. It's not a bloody scam. It's now a way of life for a lot of people. Wake up, people, please. I haven't met Steve. Uh, you're a legend, Dino. Simon Collis, how are you, brother? What if fear never existed? Would you go for it? <laughs> fear is not real. Lee, and you know this, man. We're driven by fear. We use that as a driver. Because it's just like your little ego putting up a test for you. It's like, no, 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 you haven't done it before. No, no, no. Fear is false, false evidence appearing real. There you go. It's like shit that hasn't happened yet in the future. But you make up stories of what's going to happen and you don't even know. What you don't know, you don't know. I'm talking fast, I'm in the zone. Anyway, guys, I've got to rock and roll. I've got this amazing event to go to tonight. Um, we're rolling it out of here all week. Anyone who's in Cairns, anyone who knows anyone in Cairns, in the surrounding area, I'll pick them up if I have to. I'll shout them dinner over the next couple of nights. Get them in touch with me. These events are next level. I'm learning a lot from them, um, just on a personal level, but more a business level for people who have got what I want. I do this stuff. I don't know how I'm going to get it, but I'm going to listen to these guys. They've got it. Couple of guys on here that have got what I want. Mr. Leo C Shay's rocking the world. I want what he has. I'm going to Dubai to get it. Never been there before. I've heard it's a crazy place. So how do I know I haven't been there? So I'm going there. A lot of gold in this tonight, guys. Thank you for being on. I really appreciate it. Um, like I say, anyone in the Cairns area over the next few days, get him in touch with me. I wanted to meet this man who's presenting tonight. Another presenter, Lou Hardy. She's ex-military, 20 years. A mother who's traveling the world, rocking it down to earth, funny as in a, a way that I just connect with. Amazing. Looking forward to hearing from any of you. Any of you got any inbox questions, send them to me. Seriously. What I'm up to, what I'm about. Opportunity. Save me contacting you guys. I appreciate everyone being on. I really do. Keeping it real. Thank you, everyone. I might see you in a week or so. Shit to do.